Wait, 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 wait. So you talk to him crazy, you belittle him, you talk behind his back, you go on social media, and you talk about him thinking that nobody knows who you're talking about. But yet when he comes to you, or you, you want him to come to you with gentleness and kindness and be sweet and and be in a certain tone with you. But yet you don't respect him in your rhetoric. You don't respect him in your tone. And you're all over social media and you're talking to your friends and family members about him. Go get the fuck out of here. But wait, let me get this straight. You was the one that said he didn't need nobody else and that you was going to be there to make sure you have his back and, and help to ease up and lighten the load. You was the one that said you was going to be every single thing that he needed physically, emotionally, and psychologically. You was the one that said you was going to cook, clean, and take care of him and make sure he has everything that he needs emotionally because you didn't want nobody else in the picture. But now you done switched up. You sending subliminals on the internet. You talking shit about him to your mom and your friends and, and your cousins and, 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 and you sent up here acting like he's the worst thing to ever walk the earth but yet you don't want it done switched up on him you wanted him to cuff you so fucking bad now he's the worst thing to ever walk the earth you not holding up your end of the deal go get the fuck out baby this is why he left you at first you were sweet you were soft you were sensual you were a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets you were his best supporter, but now look at you. You don't want to lay down with him. He doesn't get encouraged. You give him a false sense of uh, comfortability. You give him a false sense of support. So what happened was you switched up on him. You came into it one way. Now you done done a 360. You done changed all the way up on him. You don't want to cook. You don't want to clean. You don't want to congratulate him when he has an accomplishment in his life, but yet you want to nag. You want to complain. You want to talk bad about him. But you came into it so sweet. You came into it so supportive. You came into it as if you were the perfect mate. And now you done switched up on him. That's why he left or that's why he's about to leave. Because you switched up on how you deal with him how you and how you treat him. Fix it. And let me just say this, keep on treating him like shit and somebody's going to come along and treat him right. And let me just say this, y'all have to understand, you have to realize that if she's not taking accountability with you, do you understand where she's coming from with other people? See, this is the thing, y'all. When a woman does not take responsibility for her actions when it comes to her mate, she also doesn't take responsibility or accountability in anything else. So she got problems with people at the job. She got problems with her family members. She got problems with her friends. She got a problem with every single aspect of the relational, uh, of, of the people that she has relationship with because she thinks she's always right. She thinks she knows everything. She operates out of pride and ego. Girl, fix it. Get the fuck out of here. And let me tell you something else. You have to stop looking to her for empathy because she doesn't see you as such. She doesn't see you as someone that needs empathy. She sees you as someone that's supposed to continuously keep going and keep, keep grinding and keep uh, uh, providing and keep protecting. And she doesn't, she doesn't see you as needing any type of empathy. She sees you as something that she can use. She sees you as an opportunity. She doesn't see you for who you really are. She is not psychologically or mentally intelligent enough to see you for the person that you really are. She sees you as as a pocketbook she sees you as as a credit card she sees you as a wallet that she can use and that is the reason why she does not have empathy for you so let me get this straight you're married to him right you guys are actually married you guys are in a committed connection you guys are only with each other but yet when he wants it you don't want to give it to him but then when you want it you convince him to lay down with you, right? But then all this time passes in between. And so what happens is you're teaching him to no longer desire you. You're teaching him to no longer want you. And then when he doesn't come towards you, then you're like, oh, well, is he cheating? Something's wrong. But when he does come towards you, then 
you deny him. So what is it that you want him to do? Because at the end of the day, if you signed up to be the sole provider of this man and you are expecting him to only be with you, then why aren't you providing that one thing that only you can provide, that you signed up to provide? Fuck out of here. Ladies, if you want to be an above and beyond spouse, then you have to show it with your actions. I'm going to give you a list of 13 things that you can do to go above and beyond for him. One, listen to him when he speaks and do not interrupt. Two, have a shower waiting for him when he comes home from work. Three, make sure you're offering or giving him massages at least once a week. He works hard and make sure there is a happy ending. Four, cook his favorite meals instead of asking him to pick something up on the way home and instead of eating out. Girl, if you don't know how to cook, get off of social media, go on YouTube, go on the cooking channel, or either call me, I got your back. Five, do your inner work, do your inner healing. Make sure that you are creating peace within yourself. He should not have to live in an environment of chaos and trauma all the time just because you're choosing to not dig out your stuff or choosing to not go to therapy. You have to make sure that you're doing your work. It is not your responsibility to give him peace but it is your responsibility to have an atmosphere of peace within yourself that can add levels and layers to his own internal peace that he's created for himself. Six, make sure that you're not nagging and complaining, but that you're coming to him with calmness and peace and telling him what it is that you want, need, or, or need for him to understand. Number seven, Make sure that you're allowing him to rest peacefully in your bosom as you rub his head, his temples, his scalp, and his chest. There is something so comforting and nurturing and peaceful to a man when he knows that his woman has internal peace and he can lay there and he can feel that peace and it rejuvenates him for everything that he has going on in the world. Number eight, and this is super important, ladies. Make sure that you're praying for him while he's asleep and while he's awake. Make sure that one, he knows that you have that spiritual side of things locked down. Make sure you're praying for him when he's awake. Touch him, lay hands on him and pray for him when he's awake. And also do that when he's asleep. Make sure that you're creating spiritual peace within your environment, within your atmosphere, and helping him to create that within himself. Number nine, make sure that you're surprising him with his favorite grooming products. Whatever it is that he uses to smell good, look good, feel good, make sure that he has an endless supply in stock of that. Thank me later. Number 10, and this is super imperative, ladies. Make sure that you're able to regulate and master over your emotions. No man wants an angry woman that's always flying off the handle. Make sure that you're ruling over your thoughts so that your thoughts do not rule over your spirit. Number 11, look him in his eyes every single day and affirm him. Let him know how much you appreciate him. Let him know that you're there for him and that you're not going anywhere and that you will support him thoroughly. Number 12, let him know that you forgive him for his past faults or for his past mistakes. Don't beat him up over the head with old stuff. Make sure that you're doing what you need to do to forgive him and then move on accordingly. But you don't sit up there and repeat, repeatedly bring up old stuff. 
that's another thing that will drive him away. If you want to keep him, forgive him and move on from it. Get some maturity about yourself. Number 13 is one of the most important ones because it is one that guys often, often, often say that they don't get. Make sure that you're telling the truth and you're staying loyal and that you are taking accountability for your actions and apologizing when you are wrong. If you don't know what a real apologize is, ladies, then make sure you go back to my apology post and get some pointers and tips and act accordingly. Do these 13 things, ladies, and I promise you, things will get better. I promise you, you will be able to see results within your connection. I promise you that this will work. As long as you're doing what you're supposed to do and he's doing what he's supposed to do, you can come together and make such a strong union. Have a good day. And let me just say this, y'all. Some of y'all ladies be like, oh, I'm a real woman. I'm a real one. I'm this, I'm that. But yet, you're fake. You're a whole fraud because you're one way with your boss. You're one way with your friends. You're one way with your family. And you're another way with him. And, and this is the thing that y'all have to understand. When a woman doesn't know who she is, she never is going to be consistent across the board as far as her behaviors, as far as stuff that she says and the stuff that she does, because she doesn't even know who she really is yet. A lot of y'all don't even need to be with nobody right now. A lot of y'all really need to spend some time with yourself. You go from pillar to post. You go from man to man. And what you do is you sit up there and you blame him for all the stuff that you're going through. But it's because you have not sat long enough with yourself by yourself in order to know yourself so you look at him as the problem you want to point the finger you want to blame him you want to shame him and guilt trip him about stuff but girl you fail to look within yourself and get by yourself and really figure out who the fuck you really are get out of here. let me just talk to you for a minute okay you have to understand that the psychological and emotional state that she's in she is going to continue to self-sabotage and she's also going to sabotage you you keep on trying to give her the benefit of the doubt you keep on trying to figure out um uh, uh, how to help her but yet you're not even helping yourself you keep on putting yourself on the back burner while you put her on this pedestal and, and and it's not that she needs to earn it but it's the simple fact that her actions don't even display somebody that needs to be put on a pedestal you sit up here and and and, and you uh, uh, uh appease her and you sit up here and you act like you don't have a backbone like a lot of y'all like guys a lot of y'all are going through shit that you don't even have to go through and it's because you have to grow a backbone the the more you sit up there and try to people please and appease and, and, and do what's best for everybody else, the more you put yourself on the back burner, the more anguish and anxiety and unfulfillment you go through. What is it that you need to fulfill for yourself? What is it that you need to fulfill for your purpose? What is it that you need to fulfill for your for your uh, for your future? And how is it that everybody else's psychological and emotional state is important to you except for your own? You cannot continue to think that you're going to have a better life when you are continuously around people that don't want that for you. You're in an environment that is just sucking you dry. You're in an environment that is just taken away from you. You're in an environment that is sitting up there and causing detriment to you. You are choosing to stay in this environment. Stop blaming everybody else, guys. You have to look in the mirror. The more you look in the mirror, you're, the more you're going to be able to see yourself. The more you're going to going to be able to change things for the better but the more you stay in this in, in this environment with her causing all this turmoil and strife the more she's argumentative the more she sits up there and pokes at the bear and, and provokes you the longer it is going to take you to heal the longer it is going to take you in order to fulfill your goals and you're going to keep on going around the same mountain around the same tree experiencing the same things because your ass don't fucking stand up guys wake up stand up for yourself you got to get away from people that are not for you, you got you got to get away from that woman that is not for you it's ridiculous because you guys sit up and you call me and, and i'm telling you guys certain things and then you call me again and it's like oh well this and this has happened oh b because you didn't stand up for yourself because you didn't grow a backbone because you didn't teach yourself how to be uh, better for yourself and those around you guys you got to take responsibility for your actions the more you continue 
to, to not take accountability for your own actions, the more it says a lot about yourself. What emotional state you're in, what psychological state you're in, what childhood trauma and drama you went through that you're choosing to not deal with. Deal with your shit so you can have a better future, guys. Some of y'all stay in marriages and, and, and relationships and connections and committed connections based on the simple fact that it's familiar to you because you didn't get the proper nurturing because nobody has ever showed you how much they really care about you in action. They say they love you. They say they care about you, but yet they don't show you in action and you stay there. You stay there. So then therefore it comes back on you. The detriment comes back on you. The fault comes back on you. What are you going to do with your life? You only get one chance. What are you going to do with your life? What are you doing for your own mental health and wellness? Have a good day. <laughs> Some of y'all about to be mad at this one. Your mama gonna be the reason why you lose your man. Your mama gonna be the reason why you can't keep a man. Your mama going to be the reason why you keep on going around the same mountain and experiencing the same bullshit in your relationships because you have to look at your mother's mentality and how she treated women, how, how she treated men. How has your mother treated men? What behaviors have you seen that your mother displayed against the men in her life, against the man in her life, against your father, against other men that she may have been with? How has she treated men in her life? If your mama has disregarded, belittled, abused, and used men for what they can give her, that's probably what you're going to do. I'm not sitting up here making this shit up. It's, it's, it's called patterns, baby. So this is the thing. Some of y'all need to stop listening to your mama and learn how to think for yourself because she's going to make you lose that man. She's going to make you lose your husband. She's going to make you lose your spouse because you keep on listening to her little fucked up rhetoric. You keep on listening to her little uh, to, to her little side talk that she be doing about your man. You be letting her talk bad about your man. Stop letting your mama talk bad about your man, baby. He gonna be walking out the door and she gonna be smiling and gleaming and your ass gonna be crying and miserable because a good one done got away. Got Guys, I have a question. When was the last time someone showed you genuine affection without you having to do or offer anything for it. I'll wait. And let me just say this. These women out here don't want to date y'all today. They want to be sold to the highest bidder. They didn't all put themselves on the auction block. Five and a five and a four. Get the fuck out of here. And another thing. Stop saying that man was trying to control you. When he was only trying to lead you into a better life. But you so hard-headed, you so egotistic, you so prideful, you so stuck in your ways that you wouldn't even let that man lead. Have a good day. And let me just say this, ladies, when you do sneaky stuff behind his back, when you when he asks you a straight straightforward question and you can't answer him in a straightforward manner when you do stuff that causes him to lose trust within your connection stop going back and saying that oh he's insecure oh well you're not my father you're being controlling no the fact is is that you're being misleading you're lying you're trying to cover up stuff you're act you're, you're operating in secrecy but yet you want him to tell you the truth and you don't want him doing nothing sneaky behind your back but yet you're being untrustworthy Get the fuck out